Here's a surprisingly simple way to get a job. The way you're using LinkedIn is wrong. Here's a surprisingly simple way to get a job, which recently worked for somebody that I work with. And it's basically using LinkedIn to communicate with people who can give you a job. And instead of asking them for a job, you're going to attract them to see what you're doing and maybe give you a job. Let's talk about the law of manifestation. I'm just kidding. What I'm talking about is a concept that actually comes from an OG of marketing called Seth Godin. Now, some of you may not know, but I'm also a writer and a marketer. And something that is a really important concept is this idea of the generous give. Now, let me offer you a completely different way to how we use LinkedIn. Probably the way that you use LinkedIn at the minute is that you've got a nice photo and you get a nice profile um, and you've got a really nice profile write up about how you're super smart and intelligent and somebody should give you a job and you connect to all these people who could give you a job and you message these people who could give you a job. And what happens? Oh, nothing happens. Nobody replies to you. Nobody cares about your profile picture. Nobody cares about the description in your write-up and nobody gives you a job. But LinkedIn is the world's biggest job platform. So surely this is where you come to get a job. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because just for the same reason, if I bumped into you in the street as a complete stranger, and said, hello mate, fancy lending me a tenner? You'd go, bugger off. Why am I gonna give you something? I don't even know you. So. What about the same premise when you're just asking people for stuff all the time, always getting LinkedIn messages? How do you get this? Can I have this? Can I help you with this? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, no, you can't. You're really annoying. Block. So here's a completely different way to use LinkedIn, and which is actually something that goes all the way back to a mini book that I wrote in 2021, which is called How to Win the LinkedIn Game. Now, what I want you to think about is what industry do you want to work in? Shout it out to the screen. Oh, right, okay. So say that you wanted to work in m &A. Really difficult job to get into, right? So what could you do is you could make all these connections and send all these messages to people who, quite frankly, probably don't even look at LinkedIn very often. Or you could do something completely different. You could give instead of take. Now, what do I mean by this? Say you connected to 100 people on LinkedIn who are involved in M&A and who have the ability to make the decision as to whether you can get a job or not. Cool, number one. And uh, if you don't know how to do this, you can just type in, you know, M&A person, maybe not person, something like this, M&A into the LinkedIn and then go for and start connecting with people. Or you could use a tool like Phantom Buster where you could just go and scrape a list of all of these people. Or you could do it manually by going through the internet, whatever it is, make up your list of 50 people. Then think about something that they actually need and want. Now obviously they need and want you because you're amazing, but they don't know that, they want proof. So how can you give this to them? Well, you can actually do it just using a generous give content strategy. Now, bear in mind, this isn't going to work overnight. I reckon it would take a month, two months, three months, something like that. And really depends on how frequently you post and how useful what you post is. Now. What I want you to do is not just post random stuff like you with your cat or talking about the sunset or something like that. It's gotta be something that's generally useful. Maybe a particular industry, a particular niche where there is M and A activity. Got it, cool. You just pick out an article from the Financial Times, Bloomberg, CNBC, whatever it is, and then give a summary of that piece of news. Give an indication, an opinion, an analysis, a report, and start doing that once a week. Now you could do that every day, but that's quite hard work. But if you start doing that once a week, and then you can message all of these people, or you can tag them into your LinkedIn post and say, hey, thought you might find this useful, end. And then you do it a second week, a third week, a fourth week, a fifth week. I can guarantee you now, somebody is gonna message you back saying, Hey, this was really useful. What are you doing right now? We've actually got something coming up that might be of interest to you. The reason being is, is that it is so easy to compete when you're not just asking people for stuff. 
Take the YouTube channel. I've made hundreds of videos about how to find a job. And of those hundreds of videos that I've made, every day somebody wanders along and goes, hey, that YouTube guy is pretty cool. I'm gonna give him money. I don't ask people for money. I give and eventually someone will give back to me. And this is exactly the same way that you can use LinkedIn. This is perfect if you're an undergraduate student, a master's student, if you're watching this at a time when actually you think, well, I've got three, six, nine, 12 months, three years to find a job, I'm just gonna start posting something on LinkedIn every week. You'll build a following, you're going to attract people who you didn't even recognize, and you're also gonna be getting better at your job in front of people's eyes. So next time when you're thinking about how to use LinkedIn and you're desperately sending the 500th recruiter that you found you're saying, hey, um, I'm actually available to work, got any jobs? And get no response. How about thinking about what you can give rather than what you can take? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Bye.